<laughs> Good morning. Uh, I wasn't cold at all. <sighs> Just woke up and it's six degrees outside and it's 32 in here. Hi everybody. So tonight is going to be brutally cold over here in the New York area. It's not going to be as cold as maybe some places in Canada or some places in the Midwest or in the Northwest US. But it's going to be cold. It's going to be in the single digits and then with the uh, windshield factor it's going to be from what from what I heard uh, minus 15 to minus 20 degrees tonight so I what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna report on 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 this condition and uh, and how someone living in a van uh, deals with the weather when the weather is so cold like this. So first thing I'm going to do tonight is go to the gym and take a shower. And then I'm gonna have me some dinner. I think I'm gonna go to uh, Panda Express. Sell my van. Seriously? No, I gotta get a class C. Ah, oh, come on. Banana ice cream. Yummy. A month? Where the heck are you going? The desert, eh? And all of us stay here 
in the freezing tundra. <laughs> uh, so I, I had dinner and I'm parked here waiting. Waiting, it's six o'clock. I'm gonna wait maybe another hour or so before I go to my uh, spot for the night. And I'm watching some YouTube videos and uh, other stuff. And uh, usually, I'll probably sometimes. No, I don't, I'm not gonna say usually. Sometimes I sit up front. Uh, other time, times, like yesterday, I would go. Um, in the back uh, like yesterday I had the heater on in the back uh, the reason you feel that did you, see, did you uh, feel that that's the wind it just shook my van so that's that's the reason that I'm not in the back with the heater on um, because I have a fantastic vent and those vents only have one uh what do you call it uh arm one pivot uh that makes it go up and down and when it's windy that thing just wants to lift up and i'm afraid that it's going to break one of these days so i when it's really windy i keep it down right now i have it down i just have just a little slit uh, open but to have the heater on uh, I would need a little bit more than that so I'm not going to go in the back with the uh, heater on right now I have the van running I have this heat going I think I'm just going to um, <clears throat> let this run heat up the back I have the door open and um, and then when I get to my spot I'll go to sleep and I won't have to run the propane heater so I think that's what I'm gonna do I guess you know if I face the wind and the wind is pretty predominant from one direction uh, and I'm facing it I guess I could uh, open the vent but the problem is the wind changes directions and then wants to lift up the vent and you know I don't want it to break I hear um, I didn't I didn't look at it myself but from what I understand the uh, max vent I think that's what it's called uh, has two of those pivot arms uh, and, and holds up a lot better in the wind than uh, my fantastic vent and of course many RVs uh, have the vent cover uh, that allows the vent to open and close in all weather conditions uh, but I obviously you know I'm being stealth uh, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to do that so maybe one day so uh, I'll stay here a bit more and then uh, go to my parking spot <laughs> uh, hey so I I begun brushing my teeth I'm at my uh, parking spot for the night so I begin brushing my teeth and I've been sniffing for about an hour and a half or so now and I'm sniffing because I was not smart I took a hot shower and then I came outside and all I had was a t-shirt and my hoodie and then I parked a little bit away from uh, from what I had dinner and uh, walking outside taking video and all that <laughs> uh, I should have been better dressed but I wasn't and uh, my fault so now I'm sniffling a little bit and I was just brushing my teeth 
and I realized maybe I should take some NyQuil cold and flu um, so you know what it's not gonna hurt I don't want to be sick tomorrow I usually don't get sick once in a blue moon I'll get sick a little bit but I always work I never stop work because I'm sick unless I'm really really sick <coughs> no, it's not that strong. It just went down the wrong pipe. Oh. All right, so I'll brush my teeth and uh, and then I'll uh, go lay down, maybe read for a little bit, and then. Um, You know, if I wake up in the middle of the night cold, uh, I'll record that. It's only like a quarter to eight, but... I'm going to bed. The wind is just uh, shaking the van tremendously. And it's like um, minus one degree outside. At least it was 10 minutes ago. So it's probably colder now. And I'm not using my minus 20 degree sleeping bag. I'm using my fleece with my 50 or 40 degree weather sleeping bag and this uh, whatever you call it. So, if I get really cold during the night, I'll uh, get my sleeping bag. Alright, so, till the morning. <sighs> Good morning. Uh, I wasn't cold at all. Just woke up and it's six degrees outside and it's 32 in here. Uh, with the windshield factor, it's a lot colder. And, um, but I didn't feel a thing. I mean, underneath this stuff, it was very very warm <sighs> so I just checked it is minus 10 outside And I'm just, I'm cold now because I had to get up to put the camera up there. Uh, so, uh, I have the van running, warming up, and I'm not even going to uh, do any cooking here. I'm not, I'm not gonna. Brain cell freeze. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna cook in here. Uh, I think it's still windy, so I'm not even gonna open my uh, vent. My roof vent was closed all night, and I'm just gonna go to the local place here and get a, a nice hot coffee and a hot sandwich. got my breakfast I'm gonna park over here 
Uh, any? It was minus, minus 10, minus 12 outside when I checked again. And so it's a difference of uh, 30 some degrees, I believe. I can't do my math right now. My brains are frozen. But it's definitely worth insulating if you are living in cold weather or consider considering living in cold weather or if you have to for any reason then definitely go ahead and insulate your van or if you're thinking of getting an RV get an RV that's four seasons because um, it's definitely worth it um, it helps too in the summer uh, you keep with keeping the the heat out but in the summer if you don't have an air conditioner then eventually the heat gets in and then you know you're gonna have to open doors and wait until it's cool at night to close them back up back up so um, but it's definitely worth it Six twenty six. 